Um, today's class, we're just gonna um, do some poses that focus on our adrenal glands. Your adrenal glands sit right above your kidneys. Um, we're gonna do some child's pose variations. Child's pose uh, relaxes your adrenal glands, so it helps you fight fatigue. And then um, we'll do some bow pose. So we're gonna do some child pose to bow pose later on in class. Bow pose actually is a strengthening back bend pose that will um, help tone your adrenal glands, which helps you know, with stress, your hormones, anxiety, digestion, all that. So that's what today's class is gonna be based on. Um, joining me next week, I actually had something planned differently for you guys this week. Um, but decided upon this, but next week we'll do a little bit, we'll, we'll up it a little bit more on the, um, the, the yoga workout and we'll do a more uh, probably breath for movement. But today we're just focusing on the adrenal glands to help with stress. So we'll get started in child's pose. So bring in your knees to the edge of the mat dropping your chest and forehead to the mat <clears throat> and just settling in focusing on your normal breath cycle of breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth <laughs> Maybe you massage your head along the mat. Helps with your sinus pressure. Any allergy headaches you might have. Maybe you push through your palms and your fingertips a little bit more just to push your sacrum back towards your heels. Maybe you take this time to set an intention for class today. Maybe that intention is to focus on something that you're appreciative for in your life during all of this change and chaos. Maybe you begin your ujjayi breath or your yoga breath. Breathing in through your nose and out through your nose, creating that audible swirl in the back of your throat. So really trying to focus on filling up those lungs with an inhale and fully releasing that breath with an exhale. We're gonna slowly walk our hands up, keeping your legs as they are. And we're going to bring our right leg out to the side, leaving your left where it is. So almost like gate pose leg. And then we're gonna to begin to walk our hands back out, lengthening them in front of us like child's pose as you push back. Feeling a nice stretch here in your inner right thigh. And back up to center, bringing that right leg back in line with left. We're just going to push back to a child's pose to reset.
Coming back up with your hands, and we're just gonna switch sides, bringing your left leg out to the side, keeping your right where it is, lengthening your, leg, your arms out in front of you as you push back. Fill in a nice stretch here through your left inner thigh. Mindfully and slowly coming back up, bringing your legs back to child's pose legs and sitting back for one breath for child's pose. Making our way up to tabletop, bringing your wrists underneath your shoulders. We're going to take a few rounds here of cat-cow to get started to warm up our spine. So we're going to inhale, drop your belly, look up. Exhale, pushes the ground away, really rounding that upper back. Again, inhale, look up. And exhale, pushes the ground away, belly button to spine. Taking a few more on your own breath. Maybe getting organic with the movement. Feeling what your body needs this morning. Maybe taking one more and then meeting me in neutral spine. Okay, from neutral spine or tabletop, we're going to do um, a little funky kind of uh, spinal balance. So to begin with, we're going to extend our right leg out behind us putting the weight between both your pal uh, palms of your hands. Checking in, trying to make sure your hips are in line. Flexing that right foot. From here, we're gonna extend the left arm out in front of us. Holding here, imagining you're being pulled from both your fingertips and your foot. Activating through that core. From here, we're gonna keep the leg lifted and we're gonna take our left arm out to a T. So holding here. From here, we're gonna thread the needle, but we're just gonna take that left arm, thread it through as you rotate your head and neck, and then come back out, bringing that arm to a T. So we're gonna do that a few more times. So twisting and threading that arm through as you rotate your head and neck, and then bring it out to a T. One more time. And back up. We're gonna bend the right knee, taking your left hand and grabbing that foot, that right foot. Pushing that foot into your hand looking down or looking over your left shoulder. Without slingshotting, releasing, and coming back to tabletop. We're gonna take a cat-cow here to work that out. So inhale, look up. Exhale, pushes the ground away. So from here, we're going to do the other side. So we're going to extend the left leg back behind us. Checking in with those hips. Really flexing that foot. Bringing that belly button to 
just fine. Stay in here, extending your right arm out. Imagining being pulled from both ends. Stay in here or just bringing your right arm out to a T. So when we begin to thread the needle, you're not gonna land your needle like down on your arm. You're just basically twisting your arm through. So you're using your core as a balance or using your core as you balance. So we're gonna thread the right arm through and back out. Thread it through and back out. One more time, thread and back out. We're gonna bend that left knee and grab that left foot with your right hand. Looking down or looking over that right shoulder. Releasing here, coming back to tabletop and taking a cat cow. From here, we're gonna push back to child's pose. And I really want you in your child's pose to lengthen those arms out in front of you. From here, we're gonna roll up slowly with this cat back, so you're rounding your upper back. You're gonna roll forward towards your wrist, coming down into like a chaturanga, all the way down. Inhale, shining your heart through. And exhale, pushing back to child's pose. So we're gonna do that a few more times. So inhale up, really rounding that upper back, coming down to the mat, slowly and mindfully. Inhaling up and exhale back to child's pose. So one more time on your own breath. And staying here in child's pose for one breath. From here, keeping your legs in child's pose legs, we're just gonna walk our arms out, coming into puppy pose with child's pose legs. So you're walking your arms out in front of you and dropping your chest and your chin to the mat. Breathing. Walking those arms mindfully and slowly back up. Bringing those legs back to a tabletop and we're just gonna come into puppy pose regularly. So from tabletop, just walking those hands out in front of you and dropping your chest and chin to the mat. Slowly and mindfully walking back up to your tabletop. We're going to spread our fingers wide, curl our toes under, and push up to your first down dog. So here in down dog, we're going to make sure the weight is between our first finger and our thumb. Gaze is towards your belly button. Really trying to get those hips and bottom towards the sky and get those heels towards the mat. 
Maybe you walk your dog here, bending one knee, then the other. Maybe you come up on those tippy toes, stretching those toes. Or maybe you just shift your hips right and left, whatever feels good. Coming to stillness in your down dog, we're going to look to the top of the mat and we're going to get there mindfully by tiptoeing using your core to bring your feet in between your hands. So we're going to inhale here with a half lift, flat back, really rolling your shoulders down and back, belly button to spine, and we're going to exhale, fold. Do that again. Let's inhale, flat back, and exhale, fold. From here, we're going to plant our hands to the mat, and we're going to take our right foot, and we're going to set it to the outside of the left foot. That's one option. So your feet are really close together, or you can take your right foot and set it off your mat towards the left side. So I call this like a, um, I don't know, what, like a kundalini almost uh, twist. But we're gonna plant our right hand down and inhale your left arm up. So if your foot is outside the mat wider, you're gonna feel a little deeper stretch here. Really putting the weight through your right palm and really trying to rotate open. Rotate that heart open. Dropping your left hand down to the mat. Coming back to center with your right foot next to left. We're going to inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold. Switching sides, so bringing your left foot directly to the outside of your right foot so you have that connection there, or you can bring your left foot off of your mat towards the right side. Keep your left hand planted and inhale your right arm up. So really putting the weight through that left palm as you really try to rotate that heart open towards the sky. Bringing that hand back down, coming back to center. Let's inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold. We're gonna hang here like a rag doll, maybe grabbing opposite elbow, picture framing your face, bending one knee, then the other, maybe shaking your head, yes, then no. Maybe you let your arms dangle, whatever feels good. Releasing your arms here. We're gonna inhale, coming all the way up. Hands overhead. Maybe you take a little back bend. Coming back up to center and exhaling your hands through to heart center. So I'm just gonna rotate towards you guys so you know what we're doing next. So from the top of your mat, we're just gonna heel toe our feet to the edge of the mat, almost coming into like your molasana feet. So let's inhale our arms up one more time and exhale through heart center to this high squat. So just holding here, tucking that tailbone, really activating that core. Maybe you stay here or maybe you just start moving side to side gently, just stretching out those hips. 
Maybe you start to straighten your left leg and then come back, straighten the right. Just really feeling some good movement here. Opening up those hips. Coming back to center. Let's inhale, straighten up, arms overhead, hands through heart center. As you sit down to your malasana now. So sitting down into your malasana, using your arms to open up those legs. Chest is proud, so you're not rolling down. I'm breathing here. Let's plant our hands, let's lift our hips to the ceiling and heel toe your feet back together. So we're gonna inhale, half lift, exhale, fold, planting your hands and going through your first vinyasa. So we're going to take a few sun A's to warm us up. So we're going to look to the top of the mat, hop, step, or float to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. Hands together at the top. Exhale, brings you right back down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, going through your vinyasa. Again, we're going to look to the top of the mat, hop, step, or foot to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, brings you right back down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, folding and planting your hands, going through your vinyasa. We're going to do that one more time, looking to the top of your mat, hop, step, or float. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, brings you right back down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, planting your hands and going through your vinyasa. From here, we're going to look to the top of the mat, hop, step, or float. We're going to inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. And sinking into your chair. So sinking here into your chair, making sure you can see your toes. Using that core, belly button to spine. Let's inhale, exhale, fold. Let's inhale, half lift. Exhale, folding and going through your vinyasa. We're going to look to the top of the mat, top step or float to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up and sinking back into your chair. From your chair, we're going to put the weight through your right foot. And we're going to step the left foot back to 
the back of the mat, crescent lunge. We're gonna bring our left arm back, right arm out front. So you're in this crescent twist. From here, bringing that left arm back up to crescent. From here, we're going to step up into kundalini. So you're gonna step up, bending that left knee behind your right. You're gonna shoot back up and shoot that left foot back to crescent. Bringing right arm back left arm out front this time. Breathing here. We're gonna come back around and step up into Kundalini again. So Kundalini and then stepping that left foot back in the crescent. From here, we're gonna step up to chair. Let's exhale, folding. Let's inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, planting your hands and going through your vinyasa. Okay, from down dog, we're gonna look to the top of the mat, hop, step, or float to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up to the top. And exhale into your chair. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then next go around, we'll add to it. So from here, we're gonna put the weight through your left foot and step your right foot back to crescent. Really lunging into that left leg. We're gonna drop our right arm back, left arm out front. Coming back to center. We're gonna step up to a kundalini and step back to crescent. Dropping your left arm back this time and right arm out front. Coming back to center, stepping up to that kundalini and step back to crescent. Stepping up here to chair. Exhale, fold. So we're gonna inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Going through your vinyasa. Okay, I'm gonna take a sip of water. If you need to as well, you can, and then we're gonna move on adding to this. I feel like I'm out of practice, y'all. I gotta stop for drinks already. All right, meeting me back in down dog whenever you're ready. Okay, we're gonna look to the top of our mat. Hop, step or float to the top. Let's inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold. 
Let's inhale, coming up and sinking into your chair. So holding here. Checking in to make sure what your core is doing, activated. From here, we're gonna lift our left foot and step it to the back into crescent. We're gonna drop our left arm back, right arm out front. Really twisting here. Coming back around the center, we're gonna step up to Kundalini and back to crescent. Dropping the right arm back, left arm out front, really lunging in to that right leg still. Coming back to center, stepping up to high kundalini and back to crescent. From here, we're gonna step up to chair. From chair, we're gonna step that left leg back again, dropping the left hand inside the right foot, coming to this runner's lunge twist. If you need to come to your knee, you can, or you can come off your knee. Really rotating up in here. Dropping that right hand down, dropping the left knee down. We're going to walk our right foot out to the side, coming in to lizard. So maybe you curl those left toes under and just adjust your leg a little bit more behind you for a deeper stretch. You can stay on your palms here, or maybe you come to your forearm. Maybe you take that left knee and bend it, take your right arm around, grabbing that back foot and sinking a little more into that left hip flexor. Maybe you look over that right shoulder. Releasing that foot if you have it bound. Let's take the right arm over, planting it inside the right foot, and let's lift it up, head and neck follow, and just rotate it towards the back. So doing some shoulder rotations here. So bringing it back inside the right foot, and then inhaling it up, around and back, and back over. Doing that a couple more times. Really letting that right leg fall out to the right side when you bring your arm up and around. All right, coming back to center. Let's bring that right foot back on the mat into your runner's lunge legs. From here, what we're gonna do, and this is where I have a hard time explaining, but we're gonna take our left leg, and I'm going to probably have to face around towards you guys, but we're going to take our left leg and swing it around towards the right. So your right ankle and your left leg are at a 90 degree, I'm sorry, at a, almost like a heel to toe alignment or they're par it's parallel to your right heel, if that makes sense. So I'm going to turn around this side so that you guys can see me. Okay, so from here, we're going to take our right hand inside our right foot, bringing it to the mat and taking your left arm up 
to sky. So using that elbow to push open that right leg and taking that lifted arm and extending it now up overhead like you were inside angle. Really trying to use that arm or that shoulder and knee connection to allow you to rotate open a little more. Okay, from here, we're gonna come back up. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you through a modified version first, and then I'll show you the amped up version of what we're gonna do, and you can choose what you wanna do. So we're gonna do three, rounds of each. So maybe you do one modified and then two challenging. So the modified version is, let's inhale our arms up and let's bring our left hand down to the mat. So you're in this like, almost like, I don't know, modified side plank. And you're gonna lift your right leg up so you are in modified side plank. So this is the modified version of what we're about to do. So you're gonna take that right arm, extend it overhead, and we're gonna bring it knee to elbow and crunch it in and extend it back out. The next time we're gonna bring our foot towards our hand to where you're gonna try to touch it and back out. So knee to elbow, back out, foot hand to foot, knee to elbow, hand to foot. Okay, so we're going to do two more rounds of that. So you can stay in this modified version or you can come into full side plank. So if you want to come into your full side plank and do this, you can. Making sure to lift those hips, extending that right arm overhead, knee to elbow, foot to your hand, knee to elbow, foot to hand. Knee to elbow, foot to hand. So you're going to take one more round, doing knee to elbow, foot to hand, so you can do modified or full side plank. So knee to elbow, hand to foot. And when you're done, Meeting me back in that modified side plank. With your right leg extended and touching the mat. So we're gonna come up using our core. We're gonna rotate on that knee and rotate that right foot. Coming into a high runner's lunge off of your knee. So coming off your knee, high runner's lunge. So from here, we're gonna push off that back leg, coming in to Kundalini. So your hands can be to the mat, or if you want a souped up version, you can bring your hands to prayer. Really trying to get that heel towards your bottom and sinking low. So from here, we're gonna do some kundalini to half moon variations. So from kundalini, we're gonna drop our right hand to the right corner of the mat, and we're gonna shoot up, extending that left leg behind us, left arm up, coming in, to half moon. So really flexing that left foot behind you. Trying to rotate open here. So from here, we're gonna do it three times. We're gonna go back to Kundalini, so your hands can be to the mat or off the mat. And then keeping that right hand planted if you want, shooting open to half moon. If you don't want to keep your hand on the mat, you can try it with your hands off the mat. So coming back to Kundalini and shooting open, half moon. Again, Kundalini and open up, half moon. So 
So from here, we're going to come back into Kundalini. We're going to drop the left foot to the mat, and we're just going to try to sit down to the mat. So your right leg should be over your left leg. So I'm going to face towards you so you know what we're doing. So from here, we're going to inhale the left arm up and exhale it over, coming into this seated twist. Really using your core to look over that shoulder. Coming back to center. Okay, from here, you guys know I like to get weird, so we're gonna get weird. So we're gonna keep your legs crossed, bringing your left hand down to the mat. We're going to extend the left leg straight and you're gonna inhale, lifting your hips up and your arm up. There you go, perfect. And come back down. Okay. So we're gonna do that three more times. So inhale, lifting, so you're pushing through the side of that left foot as you lift your hips and come back down. Inhale up, pushing through that left palm as well and back down. Do it one more time. Inhale up, pushing through that left foot and that left palm and back down. Okay? From here, we're going to untwist that right leg and we're going to bring our feet into deer pose feet or deer pose legs. So your left leg will be parallel in front of you like you are in pigeon pose and your back leg will be at a 90 degree angle. So really rotating your pelvis and core towards that left foot that's in front of you. So let's take an inhale here and let's exhale folding over that front leg. Really feeling a nice stretch here. Maybe you can only come onto your palms, or maybe you can come to your forearms. Or maybe you can get your head all the way to the mat. If you can, good job. That's awesome. Let's inhale, coming back up. So staying here, let's bring our hands behind our head, our fingertips behind our head, and we're gonna do some crunches sort of, I guess. So you're gonna lean down forward, flat back, and then back up. Okay, we're gonna do that five times. So coming down, back up. Down, back up. Two more times, really using that core. We're strengthening our back here. We'll call them back crunches. After your fifth one, releasing your hands, you're gonna adjust your feet coming over into tabletop. From tabletop, we're gonna curl our toes, shooting them back, I'm sorry, let's shoot our legs back first, curling those toes under, come into plank. Really puffing that space up through your shoulders, Energy out your heels for five, four, three, two, one, and going through your vinyasa. So if you need to come down and take a sip of water, you can. We're going to do that whole flow again on the other side. Are you guys doing okay? Mm -hmm. Whenever you're ready, just meeting me back in down dog. Okay, from down dog, we're gonna look to the top of our mat, hop, step or float to the top. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. And exhale, sinking into your chair. Checking in with your core, belly button to spine. Trying to sink a little lower. From here, we're going to step our right foot back to crescent. Bringing the right arm back, left arm out front. Really sinking into that left leg. Coming back around, stepping up to Kundalini. And back to Crescent. Bringing your left arm back, right arm out front. Coming back to center, stepping up to Kundalini and back to Crescent. From here, we're going to step up to chair. From chair, we're going to step our right foot back again, dropping your right arm down or right hand down inside your left foot. Left foot. <laughs> so you can be off that knee or you can be down on that knee in runner's lunge twist. From here, dropping that left hand down, we're gonna walk our left foot to the outer edge of the mat, rolling over the outside of that left foot, coming into lizard. So you can be on your palms or down on your forearms. Or you can be off your back toes, whatever feels good. So on a nice stretch here. Maybe you bend that right knee and take your left arm back to grab that foot. As you sink into that right hip flexor and let your left leg fall out to the left side. Without slingshotting that foot, bringing that left arm back around inside your left foot. We're just going to do some shoulder rotations. So inhaling that arm up and back and then back around. Just doing that a few times. Your head and neck follow. As you come back around to the front, your knee may come in line and then as you exhale back, your knee falls out to the left side. Taking one more. And then from here, we're going to come into that funky little leg where your left foot facing towards the front of the mat. You're going to swing your right leg back towards the left side of the mat. So your ankle and your right leg are parallel. Okay. So from here, we're going to take our left arm, drop it inside the right leg. Right arm is up, and then extending it overhead into what I would call like a modified side angle. So really using that shoulder to push open that leg. If that's too much on you, you can always come up to your forearm with your arm, right arm extended overhead. Really trying to rotate open. Coming back up and we're going to drop the right arm down and we're going to do those modified or full um, plank variations. So if you want to stay modified, you're just going to lift the left leg, 
extend that left arm overhead and do knee to elbow and then foot to hand three times knee to elbow foot to hand knee to elbow foot to hand the next round if you want to juice it up and come to full side plank and do knee to elbow foot to hand three set and then again if you want to do full plank full side plank so i'm going to come into full side plank Trying to use slow and controlled movements. And after you're done, coming back down to that modified side plank. No rush, taking all three sets. We're gonna use our core to come up and rotate around towards the front of the mat, adjusting your legs and feet, rolling those back toes under and coming to this high runner's lunge. From high runner's lunge, we're gonna step up to kundalini. So your hands can be to the mat or they can be a prayer. So we're gonna do that kundalini to half moon. So I have to plant my left hand to the left corner of the mat and open up to half moon. If you can do this without having your hand to the mat, then do it for an added challenge. So we're going to come back to Kundalini and open up half moon. Back to Kundalini, open up half moon. Back to Kundalini, open up half moon. Really flexing through that back foot. Really trying to open up in your half moon. Let's come back to Kundalini. And then we're gonna sit that right foot outside the left and come to a seated position. Keeping that left leg crossed over the right. So we're gonna inhale the right arm up and over into this twist. So the left hand is behind you, close to your sacrum. Really trying to use your core to twist. Coming back around. From here, we're taking our right hand down to the right side beside us, keeping your left leg bent, straightening that right leg out. We're gonna push through the right palm, push through the right foot, right side foot, lift your hips and back down. Inhale up, really pushing through that right side foot and that right palm, and then back down. Again, lift up and back down. One more. And back down. From here, we're gonna untwist our legs coming into dare pose. So your right leg this time will be parallel like pigeon legs and your left leg will be at a 90 degree angle. So really trying to rotate your pelvis to the front Let's inhale here and exhale, folding over that front leg. So maybe you can come to your forearms or maybe you even come to your forehead. Trying to keep both your feet flexed. 
keep that engagement. Okay, we're gonna walk our hands slowly and mindfully back up, keeping that torso rotated towards the front, bringing your fingertips to the, your back side of your head. We're gonna take an inhale and exhale, folding forward, using your core and coming back up. Coming down and back up. Three more times. After your last one, unwinding your legs, coming to tabletop. And you're gonna pop up into your plank. If you need to come to modified plank, you can. Loving that space through your shoulders. Energy out your heels for five, four, three, two, one, going through your vinyasa. From here, we're gonna come to our knees into child's pose. Okay, keeping in your child pose, I'll explain to you what we're gonna do next. Next, we're going to do um, child's pose, rolling out and doing our bow pose. Then when we come out of our bow pose, we're gonna do five tricep push-ups and then push back to child's pose. We're gonna do three rounds of that, okay? So, coming back to your child's pose, Really extending those arms overhead. We're gonna push through those palms, come up, roll down to your bellies, bringing your knees in line and grabbing your ankles with your hands. You're gonna inhale up to bow pose, pushing those ankles into your hands. Breathing here. Dropping those legs down, releasing. From here, I'm gonna keep my legs lifted, my knees bent, bringing my arms and hands close to my body, close to my chest, like you would with cobra hands. And I'm gonna inhale and push up so my pelvis is off the mat. Then I'm gonna come down slowly, like chaturanga push-ups, and push back up. So we're gonna do that five times. So that was one. So coming down, two, three, four, five. Pushing back to child's pose. So from child's pose, we're gonna come up and over, rolling to your bellies. Bringing your knees in line, grabbing your ankles with your palm or your hands. And inhale up into bow pose. Breathing here. Coming back down, bringing your hands in line with your chest. I'm keeping my legs lifted. We're gonna inhale up your pelvis off the mat and slowly lower down into these chaturanga push-ups or modified, doing five 
on your own breath. And when you're done, pushing back to child's pose. So this is where we're really working our adrenal glands. We're relaxing, then toning, relaxing, then toning. So breathe in here, catching your breath. So we're gonna do that one more time, rolling up and over, coming to your bellies, bringing your knees in line, and grabbing your ankles or maybe inside your feet, whatever, however you do your bow, and inhale up, pushing those feet into your hands. Breathing here. Coming back down, bringing those hands beside you, and coming up. So that we can do our five tricep push-ups. So coming down, halfway, and then back up. And pushing back to child's pose. Me back up to tabletop. If you want to take another vinyasa to get there, you can. We're just going to come through to seated. So, from seated, we'll do one ab exercise as if we haven't done enough abs, right? And then we'll start to bring it down. So, let's come to our backs. If you want your hands to be underneath your sacrum for this, you can. Maybe bring in your thumb and first finger together like a triangle underneath you, or you can just bring your palms down beside you. We're gonna lift our legs up to the sky. So from here, we're just gonna scissor our legs slowly and mindfully all the way down not touching the mat when you get down there, but hovering off the mat. So you're gonna scissor your legs all the way down to the mat where you're hovering, and then you're gonna scissor them back up. So we're gonna do a count of five. So scissor down, and then hover your legs off the mat, and then scissor back up. Again, down. Hover, and scissor back up. Let's do that two more times. Hover your legs at the bottom, and scissor back up. And back down, and hover, and back up. Hugging those knees in, to your chest. Maybe you roll on your back. Let's keep our right knee bent in and extend our left leg to the mat, flexing your left foot, really hugging that right leg up into your colon. Maybe you stay here, maybe you Rotate your ankle around. This time, let's extend the right leg out and hug the left knee in. So just switching sides, flexing the right foot really trying to bring that left leg up into your side body. 
And maybe you stay here, maybe you rotate your ankle around. Releasing that leg, taking a long body stretch. And actually in your long body stretch, let's just try to lean to the right as you lean your feet to the right. So you're in this like banana. And then come back to center, leaning to the left. And maybe your feet go off to the left in this little curve of your body like a banana. Coming back to center, let's hug both knees in one last time. And let's grab the outer edges of your feet coming into happy baby. So rolling that tailbone down, really trying to use your biceps as you pull those legs down or pull those feet down. Maybe you stay in stillness, or maybe you roll on your back. Maybe you straighten one leg and then the other. Whatever feels good to your body. Releasing here, dropping your feet to the mat. We're gonna bring our arms out to a T, bringing your right foot on top of your left ankle, I'm sorry, on top of your left thigh. Shifting your hips slightly to the right and dropping your knees to the mat to the left and looking over your right shoulder. So coming into your spinal twist, maybe you stay here or maybe you take that left hand on top of your thigh and use it to give yourself a little assist. Coming back to center whenever you're ready. Maybe you hug those knees in again. And then drop those feet to the mat. Switching sides, bringing your left foot on top of your right thigh. Shifting your hips towards the left and then dropping your knees to the mat to the right and looking over your left shoulder. Staying here, maybe use your right hand on that leg to give yourself a nice little assist. Coming back to center, hugging those knees in one last time. And taking any other pose that you feel like you might need before coming into your Shavasana. So coming into your Shavasana, just gonna bring your feet to the outer edges of the mat. Bring your arms down beside you, starting to slow down that breath. Let's begin to take a body scan, bringing awareness to your eyes. Maybe you roll your eyes around in their socket a few times one way and then the other. Releasing any tension that you're holding on to. Bringing awareness to your jaw. Maybe you open your jaw real wide. And then close it shut, keeping your 
lips generously parted, removing your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Bringing awareness to your shoulders. Maybe you shimmy your shoulder blades up underneath one another to create a little shelf, or maybe you just leave them as they are. Releasing through your chest, through your biceps, your elbows, your forearms, your wrists, all the way to your fingertips. Maybe you take your hands and ball them up in a fist really tight, squeezing, and then releasing your hands, opening them wide, wiggling those fingers, and just letting them release. Releasing through your core, your sacrum, through your hips, all the way down through your hamstrings and thighs, your knees, your calves, the shins, your ankles, and your toes. Maybe you point your big toes in towards one another and let your feet flop out. Just fully sinking into your mat. Starting to deepen your breath. Maybe begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe you stay here or maybe you take a long body stretch. Maybe you hug your knees into your chest one last time, giving yourself a little love and gratitude for showing up today to do something good for your mind and your body. Maybe you stay here or maybe you roll over to your most supportive side. When your world moves too fast and you lose yourself in the chaos, introduce yourself to each color of the sunset, reacquaint yourself with the earth beneath your feet, and thank the air that surrounds you with every breath you take. Find yourself in the appreciation of life. Pushing yourself up to a comfortable seated position, Let's inhale our arms up overhead, exhaling our hands through heart center. Thank you guys for joining me today for practice. I miss seeing your beautiful faces and your beautiful yoga practice in person. I hope to be able to see you soon. Go in peace, spreading love to yourself and to others. Namaste.